Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It is Jake Asky 12 here, and we are back on our great sur super flat survival world, a map by Dan Ross Prompt. And we are on episode 12, and what are we going to do today? I really don't know, actually. Um, I've done some work off camera. Uh, I do want to make a trip to the nether, and we are going to go try to raid a bastion, because I found one. And, or I should say, another one. And then, also, we need to get a, a few blazes uh, in order to work on our steam engine. Because, if you guys remember in the last episode, I said we were done with the quest line. However, not quite. Because, we didn't actually build the steam engine. And so, we do need to do this. So, I do want to showcase this with you guys on camera. So, we're going to do that together. Learn how this works together. Uh, but we need to get uh, some some blaze uh, some more blaze uh, burners, and so I made the burners. We just need to go capture some blaze. Uh, also, uh, let's see. We got to this. Uh, we we're able to get our our penny. This is really cool. We got that frame. Uh, I haven't figured out how to automate this uh, since the last episode, so that is still a work in progress. Let's see what else. Uh, oh. We automated this. Now, I went ahead and automated it even further. Uh, as the $5 bills were going to be a lot. So, I turned it into being $100. So, we'll showcase that as well. And then, with the create, uh, the chef life, excuse me. So, I've gotten all of these. These two, I'm still trying to figure out. Because if we, if we click on it, right? And we hover over it and press R, which is for recipes. It doesn't come up. And I'm really confused on how to do this. If you guys know in the comments, let me know. Because if we come over to here, which I made, and we hover over it and we press R, it shows what goes into this process. So I'm not understanding what I'm missing with these two. If they're not in the recipes or whatever, see if I go here, I can't. I'm pressing R, nothing. So what goes into this to make this? And it's a plate. It's not even a bowl. So how are we going to get a plate? I'm not really sure. I, I, I think we could, like, press a plate or press a bowl down into a plate. I don't know. So we're going to work on that, but I'm, I'm confused on those. Um, but if we look, and I'll go ahead and show you guys that I did make all of that. We did some of it, and then I just didn't want to bore you guys with all the rest of the stuff. So it's all right here. I haven't even eaten it yet. Uh, nourishment of three minutes. We've got three minutes here. Five minutes. Which is really good. That's the uh, squid ink pasta. Uh, doesn't sound good to me, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> and we got pumpkin soup. Uh, I don't know. I do love pumpkin pie, but I don't know. Pumpkin soup? Mm, maybe. Roasted mutton chops. That does sound good. Uh, we got a bacon sandwich and we got a hamburger. And a few prices. We. Whoa! You could sell these for $25? Oh, I never thought about selling the food. How would we automate? Could we automate that? Oh, you know what? We could actually automate this. What goes into that? There's four items, right? So we would need four deployers. Oh, there's five items. So we need five deployers. No, I don't think you could even... Oh, you couldn't... You could mix it, huh? Oh, you'd have to mix it. Not deployers. We'd have to mix it. That's actually pretty easy. If we put all the ingredients in... Hmm. Let's figure out how we could maybe automate that. I have onions, by the way. I bought onions because we needed it for the quest. And uh, so they're growing. They are growing over here where I was standing. <laughs> uh, and then I went ahead and made the enchanting table and the bookshelves. And I was going to do this. And I was like, yeah, I can get silk touch. We could get a blaze spawner. Uh, except I forgot one thing. Uh, we still need lapis. In order to get lapis, the only way to get lapis 
as I found in this, is to cure a zombie villager and turn it into a cleric uh, in order to get the lapis. So that plan's kind of out right now. But still something I want to do is I do want to get a couple villagers um, on this world. I do want to be able to do that. So what we're going to do is, first of all, let's go ahead and put this on. And then we're going to put that in our curio right there. Uh, oh, and I made the gilded uh, quartz uh, as well. So let's talk about that really quick. Uh, so I did that on camera. Or excuse me, off camera. And I still need to make the experience one. And I, I got an idea how to make the experience as well. Um, so if we come to here really quick. We need two of these big keep experience, which is, requires four of the nuggets. And in order to get the nuggets, we can crush down. Now, we don't have diamonds. So what I found is going to be the only... There's two ways, I think. We can buy an enchanted golden apple, which is possible in the store. Or... See, now, this is rosing. We don't get this. We only get the crush. So we can't do that, unfortunately. Or we take quartz... We crush it, and we get a 30% chance. So, this is probably going to be the cheapest way because uh, we already have a ton of that. So, that's something that we need to work on as well. So, as a matter of fact, let's, uh, let's go back to that sword, and let's click on that. And, uh, oh, back. Uh, let's see. Can I... Oh, there we go. Okay. That's what I want. Let me get it up there. So, we remember how to get to that. Uh, but in order to make the rose quartz, I wanted to show you guys how to do this. The gilded rose quartz, excuse me. Uh, this is definitely a process by mechanical crafters. You need six mechanical crafters, which is going to take two polished rose quartz, which we haven't done on camera, so I'm going to show you guys that actual process. We need two iron sheets, a gold ingot, and a quality tool handle. Now, here's the thing about this. So I'm going to go get that stuff, by the way, while we're talking about this. Really quick. So, I had talked about this in the previous episode where uh, we had the $5 going through. And if you take two $5, it'll turn into a $10 bill and yada, yada, yada. Well, right now we have a $50 bill. We've got a 10, which that way two fives, which turned it into a 20. So now two more 20s and a five will turn it into 50, which will then turn this into 100. So what I did is... I found a way to make a filter, and if we look in the, oh, oh no, if we look in the filter, I added 100, right, so we put that back in there, because uh, that's not what I wanted to do, uh, which just messed up all that, that's fine, it'll do it over, anyway, so you put that in there, and it won't allow that item to come out until it goes, until it matches the filter, and then it'll come in here. So that's going to start the process over. But, uh, sir, so far we have uh, $3,700. Yeah, math is a little bit easier, right? Add two zeros and you know what you got. Uh, because we have the $5, so I've went ahead and I sold everything. That's why we're up to almost 200 k Because I want to try to get to the 1 million mark before we buy anything. So I'm just going to go this route for now. And we'll just keep selling those and I'll just keep turning those in. Uh, what else do we have going on here? Uh, and then let's get what we need over here. So we need uh, two quarts. We need 16 of these. Oh. Uh, oh, and then I forgot you can't put one away. There we go. Okay. And I think I have everything else on me. So come over here. Uh, I don't have a crafting table up there, though, yet. I really need to put one up there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go like this. Okay, that gives us our rose quartz. Then, what you got to do is you're going to take this in your off hand, put that there, <clears throat> and you just right-click, hold the right-click down, and there you go. You got two of those. So there's that. And we're going to go ahead and stick that back in there. Then we're going to need two of these. And then we need to also make the quality, uh, what do you call that? 
quality shaft, basically. Quality tool handle. So in order to make that, we just need, need two zinc ingots. So uh, if we go ahead and go there, go there, and there we go. And we only need one of those. And then we just need a gold. So we'll run in and get our gold really quick. By the way, Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, I did not say that because when I did the other episode, it literally went out New Year's Eve. So this is our first episode. So Happy New Year's to everyone and hope you guys had a safe holiday. Um, as you guys can see, I've got this open for a reason because I want to showcase this. Uh, because some have been asking how to run all this stuff. So we're going to showcase that a little bit better. I didn't do it exactly on camera, but I'm going to show you guys how we got there. Anyways, in order to make this work, if you don't, you could do one of two things. You can go ahead and set the crafters up this way. Just have six of them. No big deal. Or instead of tearing all these down, because these are pretty cheap, I made these little brass, uh, oh, they're slot covers. And they just take three brass ingots. So you take a couple of brass uh, or nuggets, excuse me, three brass nuggets. So you can get uh, three of these out of one. So I went ahead and just made seven brass ingots. And then I got 21 of these. And so uh, I have six more. They're in my bag. I didn't mean to make that, but I just was like, oh, thinking about every single one of these. So anyways, how do we make this? So we're going to go like this. Uh, if we click one there and one there. We got our two sheets. We're gonna go one there, one there. We go there. Uh, oh, hold on. We need a cock. We need our cock. Uh, we're gonna put that right there. That way it's running. And then we put this in. And you guys are gonna watch. Everything's still running too. Good. Awesome. And there we go. Ta-da! We got our sword. So, if you guys are curious how that works, I just want to showcase that. So now we have two, which is fine. Uh, which means we don't need our iron sword anymore. That can go bye-bye. Uh, how are we doing there? Okay, we're not doing too bad. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead. I want to break that. Uh, zoop. And we're going to put one back. We don't need to do that again. I just want to showcase how that works. Uh, but if you don't put these on, um, the mechanical crafter, it shows like this is still working. And so it won't do the process unless they're closed off. Or, just like I said, run six uh, of these crafters and you don't have to have all of these other ones and you're fine. Okay, so we made that. So that is checked off. So next, over here, uh, I want to get a speed controller. Why would I want a speed controller? Well, in order to get a speed controller, uh, this is what it takes. It takes a brass casing and, well, let's showcase what this does, and a precision mechanism, which we're going to show how to get to that. So first of all, why would we want a speed controller? See how these cogs are running really slow? If you watch what it does, put one big cog in there and then you run it off of you know this is going off of something either this is the stress meter right now so all you got to do is turn it up right here and you can do that with the wrench I believe and then you can also slow it down you can have it going in a different direction but literally all you do is you take a big cog and you put it in the speed controller now the problem is is it takes a process and you need three deployers now these could probably be side by side by side and it would work fine i went in and did it this way because i don't know i just did it that way <laughs> i was trying to take up this wall i guess to be done maybe i will shrink it down because i want to have if we do something else and we need to do like i can turn this and this basically conveyors pretty much as i'm thinking it's going to come this way like if we wash anything or whatever, I don't know yet. I still want this to kind of be the whole pretty much area for all of the create stuff. So, but what I did is if we come here, first of all, we need a 
we need a gold sheet. So let's show you guys how to get this. So if we click on that, and we come to right here, you guys can see there's three steps. One, step one is a small cogwheel. Step two is a large cogwheel. And step three is an iron nugget. And if you look down here, it says to repeat five times. So you literally need to read every single thing. Now, this is a golden sheet. And I thought because it was a brass thing, I was like, oh yeah, I need a brass. And I tried working it and it wasn't working. I'm like, why is it not working? So I went back, I read this again. I was like, oh yeah, golden sheet. So just make sure you're paying attention to everything or it won't work. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take our golden sheet out. See, there's the brass sheet right there. <laughs> now I made one to make sure I knew how to do it so I could explain to you guys how to do it. And I figured it out, uh, but it would have been an entire episode of me trying to figure all this out. Now these are a pain, by the way, to set up. So I'm gonna show you guys, first of all, let's do that. Let's show you guys that. Uh, let's get our wrench out. So these are kind of a pain. We're gonna put these in here. And if we go here and we take this right here and we just set it right there, you can see that it's facing this way. And if we take our wrench, now this turns the cog to a different way. So if you wanted it, you know, to come down this way or whatever you can. Now this is pointing, this means it's in use. But if we click on that, it says attack mode. So some things take where you have to punch it, almost like it beats the item versus kind of like placing the item. I don't know how else better to say it. You can also put filters, which I'm not 100% on the filters just yet, but we're going to learn that together. But we can also rotate this around. Oh, I just broke it. Uh, let's try that again. Uh, let's see here. We There we go. You just got to find the right way, and you got to kind of work it to where if you want it to go down. And so if we come, there we go just have to figure out which way to go and it's a pain and that's why I didn't want to mess this up because it took me a while to get these all facing the right way so <laughs> that's why we have the extra one uh, but now you guys know and then if you ship ship right click there it goes and it's back in our inventory so uh, what we need to do is place these now you can't place the items if it's running so what I did is I made our first ever clutch and I put the redstone signal because what it does, as you guys can see, it has it running. But you can't place them while they're doing that. So we're going to shut it off. <clears throat> Let's uh, go like that there. There we go. And if you look just in the right spot, it's right. Uh, it be kind of hard because it's down. Where is... Where's our hitbox? There it is. We go right there. So if you look right there, and it says mode item five cogwheels. So we've added that. But you got to look in the right spot. Or you're not going to place them right. So there we go right there. So if you're kind of looking right here at the, I don't know if you would say the wrist basically right there, that's where you want to look. That's the best way I can describe it. Oh, I was like, what happened? Oh, I didn't go too far. Yeah. So there we go. So now it's holding all those items. So now what do we do? So now I set this handy dandy thing up thinking I needed it. I probably didn't. Oh, I need our andesite. So now we're going to go like that. Okay. Uh, there is somebody that is a question that was having an issue placing these. Sometimes if you just click it like that, it's going to be facing out. Or you might have to shift click it in to attach it. And then it might pull it back in. So if we come over here. We might have to do this. I think this is going to have to be shift quick in. Yeah, see? See how I crouch? And then we we put it in versus where this side we didn't. So this is going to export it out. And that funnel will import it in. So I hope that that helps you guys there. Okay, so. Oh, and then we got. <laughs> okay, well, it worked. <laughs> we got to turn the deployers on. So let me get the deployers going. And we'll try that again. Now you can see they're not running. Because they're waiting for an item to go ahead and pick. So here we go. So you guys can see. There it goes. That's 
item one. I probably could have done that again. And you can see it had a mark on it. When we come here again, item two, it says six out of 15. Now, I believe this has a chance of breaking. I don't know if you can get it every time. I think it has a chance of, of not getting it every time, or maybe it's a certain certain time that they do that. I'm not 100% positive. This is number four. And we've got number five. You can hear it going, and we got that one. But I do know that that sometimes will break, and it says no, it, it didn't allow it. So there we go. So that lets you guys know what's going on there. Now, how did I get this set up? Well, I, like I did, I took it from down there, and I've got all of these, which probably could have been attached. It probably doesn't need to be spaced out like that, but I was just trying to take up this wall space. And um, I ran our two conveyors with a gearbox there, with a gearbox there, and I just put the chest on it just because. Uh, and then this was actually going that way because I had a shaft here, so I just added a gearbox again so it would rotate back this way. Uh, and then this goes up here so that it can also be running these at the same time. And I wanted it to make sure that we didn't kill our stress units. So if we come down here, you guys can see I just ran shaft with a vertical all the way across over here into here with a regular gearbox. And I attached it to this right here, which was enough that it didn't give a bunch of stress. So, and then now that you guys have seen that, I can cover it back up. Except for that. And I can always throw like trap doors right here and just kind of hide this if I want. Um, and there we go. Let's, uh, I want to see our new sword. Let's check out our new sword here. Where did that guy go? Oh, wait, there he is. Can I take your order, sir? <laughs> That's a pretty good sword. Only took three hits. I wonder if we were like foot sharpness, if it would be like two hits. Like a diamond sword. It's supposed to say netherite, so I don't know. Oh, you want some food too? Here, we'll just get this guy too. Play with our new sword for a minute. Uh, we don't take stuff back, sorry. Once it goes out the window, that's it. <laughs> Anyways, so that is all that. So now, if we just take our casing here, we got one, which now I can make technically two, so I might as well go ahead and just make them both. Um, we should just be able to do it in here, right? Uh, it goes like that. There we go. One, and do I want to make two right now? Uh, actually, I'm not going to. I don't know if we need those for anything else, and they are kind of, they're not expensive, but it's a process to get to that point for sure. And then, um, I, I guess we should showcase this, shouldn't we, huh? Um, but, we're going to, uh, how could we do that? How could I showcase this really quick? I guess we could do it right off of there, huh? Let's do it off of that, let's see if we could do this really quick for you guys. I'm all about trying to teach you guys, even though you guys are probably going to end up teaching me more than I'm going to be able to teach you guys. So if we go here, get some more cogs, uh, and then if we got this, we pull one of those out just to see it, and then we take a... We need that. Uh, okay. So if we were to go off of this, hopefully it won't break. And then we take Put, we just attached this for now, so you guys can see how much it's running. Okay, yeah, it's overstressed. Of course it is. I knew that was going to be overstressed. Okay, uh, right now it would give us 256. But, the question is, is can we do it? Can we do that with the speed controller, and would it not do that then? So if we take this, you can see it's running at 16 now, so if we put a cog in there, now you've seen it's attached to it. So if we take the wrench, we, uh, you're gonna make me do it with a wrench. 
Uh, target speed and RPM, click and hold to edit. Click and hold to edit. Usually you do it with the wheel, but it's not letting me do it with the wheel. That's going to break it. Uh, I don't think I have the, I don't think I have it set up right. Because normally you would just take your mouse wheel. Yeah, see, I'm scrolling right now. Oh, hold on, let me... Click and hold. Ah, there we go. This is a little bit different. I'm used to doing it something else. Click and hold. You got to pay attention to what you're reading. So as you guys can see, we could go all the way up to 256. See right there. Look how fast that thing is running right now. And if we wanted to, and then let's click and hold, and we'll run it all the way down. And then you guys can change the reverse too. So now look how slow it's running. Now would this stress it out? No, look, see? So what this has done is it's now allowed us to be able to use this if we wanted to. And then how high could we go before we stress it out? Let's go to let's go to like uh, let's go 112. Yeah, too much. Okay. 196. Nope. How about 64? Nope, still too much. Uh, wow, we literally need to take it all the way down to one. <laughs> so we're pretty much maxed out for this anyway. But the best way to do it would be if we came off of this right here, and we're at zero, and you want it, you didn't want to run a ton of cogs. Uh, you just want to make this and run one cog, and then you can speed it up if you're just using, you know, for whatever you want to use it for. Uh, this is the way to go. It's just a process to get there. So. Uh, and I just want to showcase that off to you guys. There we go. Get rid of that. Where have I fixed it? There we go. I don't know if I explained that perfectly well or not. Hope I did. It's better if you're coming off a water wheel or you're coming off the windmill, right? And you don't want to do the huge cog setup like this down here. And you don't want to do this huge mess. You literally, we could have run it off of this right here. We could literally set it up right here, put a large cog, and then we could have sped it up. And we could take down all of this and run it off of just the speed controller. And we could, you know, slow the speed and everything else. So hopefully that's a better explanation for you guys. Uh, we're going to put that in there. Get rid of all those. Uh, that goes there, that goes there with our shaft there our deployer and that goes in there and our wrench goes in here and that should be everything okay so we've done all that uh we made the sword now we need a trip to the nether which means we need better armor so let's see what we got we're not gonna be able to enchant anything we use the zinc uh, we'll use the zinc with a helmet, I guess. We got brass. See, this is two armor, five armor. Yeah, that's five armor. That's all two armor, five, two, two, six, five, two, five. Yeah, so this is the way to go. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Five, six. That's six. So this is better, but this is the same. That's five, five. Okay, so these are exactly the same. Nope. These are better boots. Two, six, two, five. Okay, so iron is the same as the zinc. And plus knockback resistance. Knockback resistance, knockback resistance, knockback resistance. Oh, we're going to use the brass then. Look at that. We get, we get a knockback resistance. So we get a little bit of a... Uh, Little bit of a cheat there if you come to the armor which i'll show you guys by the way come to armor um oh we might well i'm not gonna click on that yet uh we made it all the way here let's uh made it all the way to the diamond gear uh, but i don't have all of it i have half of it because we already got these off that zombie that we have uh which is in one of the thumbnails uh that shows the zombie with the uh 
full gear, and we didn't get all of the gear, but we got two of the pieces anyway. Uh, so we just need two more pieces, and that'll take care of that. And then I'm guessing there's just going to be netherite. Um, there's also a diving suit that I noticed, and I don't know what the diving suit's all about. I'm, I'm maybe to swim in the nether? Let's see, uh, what was it? Diving? Yeah, there we go. So if we shift on that, together with the back tank allows the well wielder to breathe underwater for an extended amount of time by its water breathing. Uh, is it, oh, here we go. Netherite diving helmet. Together with a netherite back tank, so you need both. This can protect you from extreme heat. To be effective, legs and feet have to be covered in netherite too. Provides immunity to fire and lava when worn full set, slowly draining air pressure from the back tank. Also grants improved vision in lava. Oh, we need to make this. Look at that. So a netherite diving helmet. Another right diving boots. What does it make? What does it cost to make that? What do we got to do to make that? So we need a smithing table. So we need a diamond thing on netherite boots. And you need copper, copper boots. Or you can go another right smithing table, copper diving boots with a netherite ingot. Get another right there. Which, we could do this. We need to find these, though. How do we get those? Uh, you need seven diamonds. Plus that. Plus another right. Uh, to get two of them. Well, I don't want two of them. I don't know how you make one of them. I'm guessing we have to find these. Oh, you can make ithium sheet, which gives you ithium upgrade. Plus netherite equipment. Hmm. There's even another tier of stuff using blaze. Okay. Well, there's a lot. I didn't know there was netherite here. Okay. So that's good to know. Uh, I don't think we need this sword. I really don't want to take this backpack because I don't want to lose all of this stuff just in case. Uh, but we are going to need this. So let's let's clear things out. And what I will do, actually, is I'll, I'll get everything ready, we'll get to the nether, and then uh, I'll bring you guys back right after that. Okay, welcome back. Now, I said I would be going to the nether, uh, but before we go to the nether, really quick, uh, these were almost done, so I went ahead and just waited until these were pretty much done. Uh, because I want to show you guys something. We're going to go ahead and take all this lost this stuff. <clears throat> that we're not catching. And I want to go ahead and... Let's see. Pull this up. There we go. That one's good. Okay. That's... We're not quite there, but almost. So, I'm going to take this one. I kind of want to show you guys something that I... I didn't even realize. And I did it by actually by accident. So, I'm going to showcase this. Uh, by the way, we got our four blaze burners. We've got uh, the two potions that we got from trading. In a previous episode with the piglins, hoping to try to get a spawn egg, by the way. Uh, a chicken spawn egg. And that reminds me, chicken spawn egg. Uh, so if we come into here, I was under the impression that we could get a spawn egg. Like, we had to find a different way. But look right here, guys. This was pointed out to me. <laughs> uh, there's an actual egg right here. $1,000 for one egg. And so we would buy these in hopes by throwing them that we could get a chicken. So if you're wanting chickens, because they are not in the spawn eggs, which is one more down right here, uh, that's how we get it. So it's a chance. So you could spend a whole bunch of money trying to get a couple chickens, or you could spend literally $2,000, and that would be way cheaper than a spawn egg of 5000 So you're just taking their chance and that's the way to get the chickens and i haven't done that yet that was pointed out to me in the comments so thank you for who uh let us know that oh by the way chickens are in there um i was just looking for spawn eggs not chicken eggs 
Okay, so let me show you guys this really quick. I just kind of want to showcase this. Are we full? Okay. Now, before, I was going around and clicking every single one of these because I thought I had to click on all of them. But if you guys watch, and we just click here, and you just keep clicking. See the... Oops, I got to shift click it, though. If you shift click it on one item, it still gives you all of them, and you don't have to click every single one. See that? See, I didn't know that. Uh, one, two, three, four. We're going to do it again. If we just click this one, you see it counts all the way, counting all of them in your inventory. So, and there we go. And that puts us over 200,000, by the way. And then we're going to do it again. And there we go. So I just want to showcase that to you guys that you don't have to click them all. You literally can just keep clicking the same one in your inventory and then it will count them all. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, I'm trying to teach you guys little tricks that I find. So hopefully that helps you guys too. All right, off to the nether. And I don't want any money floating around. We need our blaze. We need our blaze burners. Okay, so if we come on our map here, I'm gonna let things load in here really quick. The last time we found this over here, and this is where we went, we raided this, right? Well, I wanted to get to a warp force, which we did right there. There's our bastion right there that I had to work towards, which was kind of fun to to traverse then over here we got our crimson force which we went to that area right there or i did i should say uh because i want to mark off all the ex exploration and then here's our blaze uh spotter right here there's another one way down here and on top of that there's a ruined portal now we need to make our way down to the ruined portal so that might be great to use the the um the diving gear just in case something happens and we fall down now i do have fire resistance potions but i really don't want to use it unless we absolutely have to as a backup and then our soul sand valley look how far we had to go to get to the soul sand valley it was way over here and so there's some bones by the way uh, but yeah i got to here so we could check that off and if you come to your questing you guys can see in our explorer thing we've gone to all of this area right here but we still need to get to the ruin portal and then of course the end which isn't going to be until we get to um fighting the dragon which we that will be probably second to last episode or maybe it'll be a long episode where we fight the dragon and we do our end raid so we can get our final check out there but anyway so we need to go this way which i already have a pathway to we're gonna go this way Hopefully, we don't have any gas again. Sneak out of here. Oh, there's a magma right there, too. Okay. There we go. All right. This is how I got all my basalt was digging this way. <laughs> Some of the blackstone I got. And then I got a whole bunch of the scorgia. I think that's how you say it. Scor scorgia. Uh, I kept my slime boots on in case we fall, uh, just for, uh, you know, bouncing purposes, because they seem to help. We have a little bit of a bow. Oh, yeah, see, this is where I got the scor scoria, not scorgia, scoria. Uh, was digging all this. Coming through here, there's a massive, massive area of it, actually, if you look around. So, the create thing. I haven't really looked into the block yet, I just know we can. Okay, and then port isn't an issue anymore. We're gonna just skip right past these guys. Oh, there's an Enderman. Now let's go ahead and eat. Oh, and by the way, if we eat one more different item, we will uh, get our. Uh, <clears throat> we'll get two more hearts, which, dang, we should have done that before we left, huh? Oh well, we're not doing it now. Alright, so as you guys can see, I kind of marked this off. All right, and then we need to go down because we need to get over there. But I also want to look around at this one because I didn't raid it. So we're going to raid it together. 
I know there's chests because I've seen them. Uh, except for not this area. <laughs> uh, but I did want to do the exploration with you guys on camera because I thought, you know, kind of get nervous and it's good content, right? So we're going to look around. I do have things safe because you can tell I was here. Ooh, got a little bit of lag. I almost kept walking off the end there. All right. No, no laggy lag. I want to be walking off into nothing here. All right. Ah, oh, there's a chest right there. Okay, so we're going to open this one. There's nothing here. All right. So there we go. Uh, and then we're going to use the diamond backpack. Look at this diamond. You guys want to see the diamond backpack? Diamond backpack is massive. We got that off the off a uh, not off our diamond zombie though. That was actually off a different one. Uh, and then when I was here, by the way, I got a backpack, a black one off a of wither. It was so cool. I was like, oh man, that must be a massive backpack. It was it was just a normal backpack like this, but it was black. <laughs> well, that was pretty cool. I wish I had had that on camera for you guys, but I did not. Uh, nothing there. It's a dead end. Okay. Hopefully you guys aren't having too bad of seeing everything. Nothing there. That I didn't want to fall off. I was worried about that. I hear a bad... Bad guy. Hey, Mr. Wither. I don't know where he's at. Okay, let's go this way real quick. See if we can find some more chests here. Oh, there he is right there. Oh, I don't want to hit you. You just gotta go do your thing. Thanks. Wish we had looting so we could try to get our our skulls here. Okay, nothing there. There's a chest right there. All right, diamond. Horse armor. Okay, we're going to take that. And I'm going to explain to you why. Why this is actually important. Watch this. If we, if we go... I don't think I can hit R on it, right? Uh, okay, this is how we can find it. Uh, I don't want to find it, though. Oh, we'd have to look up diamonds. Hold up. Let's look up diamonds real quick. We look up how to get diamonds. And we go to crushing. Diamond horse armor will allow us to get one diamond for sure and a chance to get three more, 10% chance. So we have a couple diamond horse armors as it is. So hopefully we're going to get lucky there. Come down here. Why does that look like an enderman thing? Oh, no. Okay. All right. So nothing there. What I should do is break the chest so I know that I've done them. Uh, okay, we're going that way. Uh, that's the way we got to go back to you. Is there anything this way? Oh, there's one right here. Oh, I don't have this blocked off, though. Anything down there? Nope. Okay. All right. There we go. Woo! I almost made you guys mad because I thought you were something else. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and get all of our other stuff in here. Right, we don't need you because you're going to be in the way. Yep, I hear you. Okay. Alright, there's our guy right there. Let's pull him over here real quick. Alright. You know what I should have brought? Oh, I should have brought some melt. I didn't even think about it until just now. <clears throat> that would have been a really good idea. Oh, well. Should have brought at least one bucket to save us. <clears throat> Alright, we got a chest down there. Oh, we got another guy. Bag again. Wants to go its own way. Here we go. Come here. One. Uh, let's go ahead and block this up. If we got any more. Okay. Ooh, we got a couple chests here. Nice. All right. Yeah. Nothing too great here. He's there, okay. Ah. Well, I was kind of hoping for some diamonds, to be honest. Now let's go ahead and give us a little bit of a safe barrier to go one way or another here. Uh, that's our end, huh? Okay. We don't need to worry about this way anymore. This way is done. Let's make sure nobody's still here. 
All right. Oh. Okay, so now we need to go... Uh, we came down, so let's go this way. Oh! Are you... Oh, oh the place, the place! Okay. I probably should put a torch down here saying this is the way we want to go. Oh, I should have captured him. Oh, no. <laughs> I forgot. I need to capture guys. There, let's. Oh, that was dumb. We came here to capture, not to kill. Okay, we got a chest right here. Lay right there. Uh, do we need to go that way still? Yeah, we do. Okay. Oh, yes. Let's go. We got three diamonds. Woohoo. And a smithing template, a rib armor trim. I don't think that's the right trim, though, is it? Is that? Is that the thing that we need? <clears throat> that's cool. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I'm back, back. Here we go. There, there. There, there, there. 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 Uh, we'll just get rid of this. <clears throat> All right. We need to get our capture here. Let's go slow. Oh, another chest. We got. All right, nothing great. I don't care about the sword, so we'll just leave that here. But I will take all of this. Okay. Yeah, we'll place another torch right here too, because this is uh, right there. way to go. Okay, nothing in here. Woo! Let's see if we can get that guy to come down here. Get one of these captured. We need it for um, the steam engines. Uh, Okay, there's a wither right there too. We get this guy to draw this way. If we if I shoot him. Let's see here. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Whew. Okay, we got one. All right. This is a scary place. Need booting. I should have looked. Made sure nobody's up there either. Okay, what do we got? Nothing over there. Okay, we're gonna take that. There's one of our blades. We need three more still. Is there one over inside that thing? I think there's a guy in there. Oh, that's lava. There's nobody there. Okay, he's over there. Need to get over there anyway. Oh no! All right, let's get safe. Whew. Okay, where, where was he? Oh, he got me. Where did he get me? I was literally like behind. He had like, it was like skeleton sniper status there. Oh, is that our blaze spawner right there? Oh, it is. What are we doing over here then? I don't need that guy. Just come over here where it's safe. Anybody in here? No, okay. Well, let's see if we can get this. Oh, that's right. I, okay. We're going to eat really quick. Like I said, I had this kind of prepared because I got a couple of... Uh, Place before. There we go. Yep, we got another one. That's two. Come on down. We're trying to be safe. And you want to be captured? Can I capture you? <laughs> there we go. That's uh, three. I know it's kind of cheaty way. And that's four. Yay! All right, we got all four. And we're still doing okay. And we got diamonds. Back up. Okay, can we use, can I use my magnet? Uh, magnet? Get that? Nice. Okay, yay! So the magnet came in handy. Look at that. Okay, so we got one of those. All right, now, get out of here. And let's go to the bastion. Oh, run, 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 run. Here he comes. Okay. Let's 
All right, there we go. And then we need to go. Can't go that way. Uh, can we go that? Way? No, we have to go down and around. Okay, so we gotta come back. We go all the way back through here. There we go. That out. All right, let's go all the way back around. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'll bring you guys back when we get to the bastion. So I want to try to keep the episode short for you. So we'll be back once we get to the bastion. Okay, guys. Well, we are at the bastion now. As we can take a look, there it is. We're gonna go see if we can raid this thing and see if we can clear it out before we uh, get out of here. Ah. Uh, hopefully, oh, we still have gold on, right? Oh, yeah, we got them breaking, so. Hey. I'm trying to get past. Let me go past. You guys are using my pathway. This is my pathway. Okay, uh, so we're going to go. Remember how I did this. Uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to kind of be torches here. You gotta remember how I got down. Okay, this way. Whoa. Oh, dang, I still hear, I still hear those guys. Okay, now I know I cleared some out already. I tried to clear some guys out so we were safe. Woo. Okay. Still hear some there. Must be under there. All right, so I'm looking for chests. Oh, there's one right there. As you guys can see, I made my way over there. Yep, there's a guy over there. There's a guy there. Mm. There's a chest over here. I didn't go looking for chests at all yet. Yeah, there he is right there. You're over there. Now, if we open a chest, I know they're going to get mad. So, okay, so we got a chest right there. Mm-hmm. Just uh, go this way. Let's see if we can get down here somewhere. Okay, there's a guy right there. He's hanging out. And then, oh, there's a chest right there. Uh, okay, let's see here. I know he's going to get mad. Everybody's going to get mad here. We take this out real quick. Block out. Mm -hmm. I don't know who's all here. Is this a risk? This is a risk we're gonna have to take. Okay, so far he's the only one. We didn't make anybody else mad. I don't think. Where is he? Where did he go? He's literally right there. Okay. Oh, there's another guy. Where is he? Uh oh. I can hear him with his bow. <laughs> you know what? The last thing I want to do is fall down that in case we get trapped here be here oh he might be over here huh got a mistake on my part okay. must be a chest over there oh there's gold over there oh uh oh and there's gold there too okay so we definitely need to take some guys out here let's see you know i can hear somebody else too we're going to take you out. Okay. Nobody's mad yet. They're about to be mad, though, if we do this song. <laughs> okay, we got Brian Obsidian. <laughs> okay, we'll go ahead and break that. We know we got that one. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and clear that out. All right. Good. One chest done. Uh, do I want to go this way and risk it? Uh, I guess so. Let's see 
where that other guy is. I can hear him for sure. See him though. Be here. Right, this is where we're literally gonna be in the open. Somebody might get mad. Is there gold under this? I can't see gold. Doesn't look like it. Alright, what do we got in here? Let's see. Oh yay! An ancient debris. Look at that. We made that. Ah. Uh, is that gonna close? Thank you. We got some lag going on. Uh, let's keep us safe here. Uh oh, he's mad. And he's no longer mad. <laughs> I need to be careful because I don't want to go too fast here. Uh, I definitely have lag for some reason. So I don't want to go crazy fast. There's our gold block right there. Above us, isn't he? Uh oh. Somebody's mad. I don't know what they're mad about, but they're mad. Do that. Let's see, where is he? Where are they? Well, they don't even like me being close to it. Is that new? What is down here? Hmm. I know he was above us, wasn't he? Let's see. There's a little guy over there. I definitely hear him walking around. Anybody down here? Nope. Is a chest over here? Maybe higher. Oh, yep, there he is right there. Oh, that's that guy. Oh, we can't go this way. Can go. Uh, let's put one back. There we go. Let's see here, where are we gonna go? Hey, you guys, I don't. I'm not worried about you guys, but that's not what I'm looking for. Somebody else is here. Get a chest, though. Hey, maybe we'll be okay. Maybe we can't take this after all. All right, we'll go ahead. We'll see what happens. Uh, if the case if that is the case if we go like that they can't get in nobody can get around us we should be safe we'll find out if we make somebody mad yep we made somebody mad uh oh all right well he's gone i knew he was around i could hear him i was where is he take that put that in there all right, let's keep going. I think we're okay now. I don't hear anybody being mad. All right, let's go to the bigger side, which is where all the real treasure is, which is over there. Guy's over there. He's all right. Uh, how did I get over there last time? Oh, yeah. So many noises. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, which way do we want to go? I guess we'll just gotta watch out for brute still. I don't know that I come all out yet. There's one guy over there. Oh, look right there. It's like in its own little cave right there. Look at that. 
Uh, okay. There's nobody around? Oh, yeah, there's a stairway right there. Okay, uh... We're gonna... Oh, that's not gonna work. Do we have any more? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that should block that off. Nobody's coming there. And... Nobody can get down that, I don't think. Nope, they can't. Okay, so let's, uh... Okay, look at all this. Woohoo! I don't care about that. Got some bone blocks. Ooh, we got two iron blocks. Two more gold blocks. And some magma. That's good for... That'll be good for uh, potions. Take that. Bone block. We got bones. Got that. We'll take those. We got a snout thing. Smithing table again. Oh, snout armor trim. Oh, nice. That's cool. I have no idea, by the way, how the trims work. Uh, I wish I had silk cut so we could break these. I know that, that that breaks, right? Oh no, we do get the whole block. Oh. You had to have silk cut to get that block. Nice, we're going to take a couple more of these in. I don't know why yet. It tells me they're going to come in handy. Okay. Uh, Alright, so here we go. All right, up again here. Uh, I guess this way. We're good that way. Uh, oh, broken stairs. There we go. Now I know if you mine these out, you get a chance of being cold under there. I'm not really cared about that right now. Are we trapped right here? Yeah, we can't go this way. Okay. Uh, I want to get up higher. How do we get up higher here? Go this way. Oh, you know what? I remember this now. Make it so you guys can see. There we go. Okay, there's a guy there. Oh yeah, I think I came over here and I went up this way. There we go. Ah. I don't remember how we went here. Because there's a bunch of chests right there. they are. Yes, there they are. We found them. Okay, so what do we got? Woohoo! A diamond pickaxe. With Curse of Vanishing. That only, that's okay though, because we get it until we die. That's good. We'll just, uh... Let's uh, get everything in there. See how we're going to do. Get along with this. We've got another book. Pickaxe. Golden pickaxe. Or diamond pickaxe. That's great. Okay. We'll go ahead and take these out. Oh, there's the smithing template. Yes, we got it. That's what we were looking for, the smithing template. Yes, we got one. That's what it actually was we were looking for. Well, you got a gold helmet, buddy. Whoa! Uh, that was close to falling. Could that have been to our death? No, okay, that's good. Alright. We got a couple more chests here. Let's go ahead and... Nice, we got that. This is a... Man, this bastion's awesome. Okay. How are we doing on... We're doing okay on good still. We got room. Oh, look at that! We got another one! We got some obsidian, we got a smite two sword, okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do as quick as we can because I know we're kinda probably getting pressed for time here. And we'll put that there, we one, one thing of arrows. Okay, take these with us. And our last chest, nice. Right. Okay, so I think that's all of them. I know we got a lot more gold and stuff we can get, but I think what I want to do is go ahead and make it back. We have our blaze burners and hopefully be back safely. Go ahead and do that. And we got that book. Looks like everything we've gotten here. Uh, 
Do we need to eat? Yeah, we might as well eat it now. Oh! Yeah, perfect timing! We haven't eaten anything cooked yet, and we've got 20 hearts now. Let's go! Awesome, we got 20 hearts. Okay. Let's uh let's get out of here. Uh what I'm gonna do though is this is gonna take a while to get back. So I'm going to bring you guys back once we get back to the base unless uh, something happens ahead of time so that we can um, check out our goods before we end the video. So I'll bring you guys back once we're back. Okay guys, as I was trying to come out, I came out a weird direction. I got kind of lost and I found another chest. So let's open it, see what we got. Nice, we got a diamond shovel. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of stuff, but we might be able to might be able to make this happen after all. All right, so now I think we go back this way. And then we come up here. Uh, I have uh, one. Here's the block. Oh, because it was a stair there. That's why. Okay. All right. I think we are good. Whoop. We fall off here. I don't want to do that. Yep. All right. We are able to head back. So we got that raided. Nice. Now we'll just have to see what we get. When we get back, we'll really check everything out. Don't want that guy getting mad over there. He's still looking. No, he's not looking. I see our... There's our torches right there. Oh, oh, there we go. And there we go. And we are headed back. All right, so we got our blaze. We got some diamonds, that was awesome. We got the smithing thing too as well. What did we need that for again? Oh, for the diving gear, oh yes. That was a huge find, by the way. That's awesome. I have no idea how they work though. Like I, I haven't watched all the new update with the trim and the sniffer and all that stuff. Like I haven't even kind of played with that stuff yet. I'm not really sure. Uh, if you guys have done with, if you guys have used the armor trim and stuff, let me know in the comments below. And, uh, would like to hear what you guys think of the new trims and stuff. Oh, we got a magma right there. Let's hurry up and get down. And we're back. Yes! We made it safely. Two trips to the nether and we're safe both times. If we can get through the portal. <laughs> Alright, we made it! Yay! Let's go check our goods really quick. Oh, I thought that the creeper had a backpack because they have a chance to get in a backpack. I just saw that wrong. All right, so let's see what we got, guys. Let's look into our goods here. All right, so we got a bunch of porch. I'll put that in there. We got gold. We got that. We got that. Uh, we got our diamond shovel. Four chains. Uh, so yeah, we did pretty good. We got another horse armor. We got three diamonds. Uh, we got some gold. We got what? Three gold. We got three iron blocks. We got smithing. We got two smithing templates. And we got the smithing trim, the rib armor trim, and then the snout. That's pretty cool. Uh, we we're able to get some more kind obsidian. And yeah, I think we did really good on this, guys. That's awesome. And a couple diamond tools. And then I'll show you guys what I got here. This was from raiding the other. Um, the other fortress and and then diamond armor came in this backpack so you guys can see i already i had taken it off and i got an enderman when we got over there because i wanted this block and so we've got two more diamond armor right there that we can mess with there's some more gold more gold there and yeah we'll just go ahead and probably crush these down so we don't really need them so i think guys uh I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to call it right here. Now, I know I said we would set up the the uh, the steam engine, but we've got the blaze for it. 
So what I think what we're going to do is we will uh, we'll wait for the next episode and we will work on the steam engine that way and then try and see what we can do about this, getting this netherite gear. And I'll kind of grind away on that just to get the netherite ingot and get the gear made up so we can do the diving thing. And then maybe we can go back and just jump in where we were uh, at the fortress and see if we can get that portal unlocked uh, on our questing part of it. Uh, but until next time, guys, this is Jake Gasket 12 signing out from the Create Super Flat World, a map by Dan Ross Probs. I will have the uh, link for this map for you guys to download yourself uh, from the Curse Forge uh, in the description below. If you did like this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you're not subscribed and you're enjoying the content, please feel free to subscribe because it's for free. That's right, it's free. And uh, hopefully I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you very much, very much, everybody. And uh, Happy New Year to you again. We'll catch you in the next one.